Hello my lovelies, Sandra here and welcome back to my channel and as you can probably see let me get the cat in oh man, let me jump on the bed um, okay so as you can see I have over dyed a moon dance you and okay, I'm not really in the picture I'm not fully in the picture because not only did I over dye a moon dance Mew I've made her the colours of the galaxy, so I put like the um, elastic bands across a few of it when I when I dyed it, and I dyed the colours I used for this were um, I actually used a dark green and I used a plum. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I will be doing another one if you want me to do another one, but that's not the only thing that I did. I turned her into a mini dress. You did not. I did. I also took out the pockets. Now, I know what was going on with the pockets of the moon dance because they were that low down. They didn't really work and you couldn't wear the stuff reversible because it was like a flappy pocket. So I just took the pocket out. And then I just sewed it up. So now I can actually wear this reversible. And not only that, but on the inside, it's more or less the same colour, but it has a bit more red to it. So this is my Moon Dance mini dress. What do you think? Even my husband likes it. I didn't like the way it protruded at the front. Can you do so what i've paired it with is just a pair of black leggings just plain black i tried different colors underneath it in different pants but you know what it just has that real natural vibe to it it's like I've just pung on a pair of black leggings and they're like capri length i'm also wearing my charcoal colored birkenstocks Okay, the necklace that I'm wearing, the tassel one, is from Michelle Prater West and it's amazing. I'm wearing it as a necklace like this now, but when I wear other things, I can wear it as the crossbody. But I just thought that the pinky purples in it just go so well with sort of the colours that it picked up in the dress. The dress to begin it with was a purple lavender on the front and then on the inside it was the normal reds ready kind of colours and I don't have a before I know you're going to be saying where's the before girl I don't have it because I just did it spur of the moment and I did the cutting of it spur of the moment um would I have made it longer I don't know I kind of like it the way it is now and what my trick is whenever you get something so open and I do this with the capes as well get yourself two little safety pins okay because otherwise these things keep making their way down to your neck, they go back. So any newbies watching, get yourself a safety pin and whatever you're wearing underneath. I just wear a cami, but you can do it to your bra. Just pin it in just slightly either side. Okay, one there and one there. And it stops it from keep moving back on you. So it puts it in place. And you don't need to mess around with anything else then. It's done. Like I say, the pockets, my intention was to add pockets on the outside to this. But I just can't be bothered. Maybe with the next one I will. But this is my Moon Dance Galaxy. It didn't stop there though, guys. I did something else. I also tie dyed, kind of tie dyed, an in flow romper. Once again, not on our pictures. But I could tell you that this was bright pink, like bubblegum pink. And the actual romper was, it was like the very pale yellow kind of colours. And I made her chocolate. And I'm not joking, I've, I've worn this a couple of times now. This is the chocolate. So all I did was I put a few bands across there. I did use the same method that Eva Fox does. 
I don't have a huge pan and I went looking I thought I'm not spending 20 30 bucks on a huge pan so I used my wok yeah you heard me I used my wok obviously I'm never going to be able to use my wok again but I had to do it was the wok big enough probably not but I made it work anyhow this is her and she came out this color but I did not use chocolate on it. I used a cocoa brown, mixture of cocoa brown and a mixture of green, dark green. And she came out this colour. So like, like I say, guys, when you dye stuff, it's, it's a game of chance. OK, the way I see it is if you didn't like it the way the colour it was before, then you get what you get when you dye it. Yeah, 90% of the time it would be nice for it to come out the colour you want it. But it doesn't always work like that. I wanted a cocoa-y brown, but this is cocoa brown but has hints of sort of pur like it, it's got a purple reflect to it. Um I did not use did I? No, I did not use the dye remover on this, but I did use the dye root remover on this and it and it worked. This is like I say, bubblegum pink. I used the Rit dye remover on the gas, um, really hot water, and it li literally lifted that colour within 30 seconds and it turned it cream. So I was able to over dye the matching kimono because I just wanted it like a natural colour. And you see how it's all sort of different sort of variants all the way through it. I like that. I did not want it to be a solid colour. I wanted it to have like a variant kind of colour. So she came out well. But that's not all. I did another one. <laughs> and I did not know what colour to do it. This one was pink at the bottom and bright yellow at the top. And I did not know what colour to do her because I was like, oh, no, do I do a green? Do it not. So anyhow, I just threw a load of colours in the pan. I threw a um aubergine and I threw a red and a tiny bit of the cocoa brown so you can see the pink coming through at the bottom like I say she was bright yellow so I added the bands and then I did just a few little tie-dye circles there and this is the colour of this one and I'm not mad because she is all the different berry colours but I thought they weren't nice with what I'm wearing, you know, look at that. So this is the colours. And I'm obsessed with this colour. This is just, I just love it the way it is. I have a kimono that goes with it. Not the matching kimono, but I have this from Style Park. And I wanted to keep some of the yellowy colour in it just as a pop of colour with this because I just love this kimono and you know what this mustardy colour is one of my favourites so look at this that's the image that I had in mind when I did this I had that exact image it just came out so good I'm loving it and even with you know my beret so I just think they worked out really well and I wanted to show you my hack Maybe I'll do it in the next video. I will show you my, my hack on the inflow because I've got an, I found a new hack and I didn't even know how I found it, but I found it, found it by accident actually. Uh, my dentist stuff isn't going as good as I planned. I had one out, I had one of my teeth out and that was great. I mean, that's fair enough. Went in for my root canal last week and it didn't do very well. I've been in pain since then for four days. I'm on antibiotics again. And I go on Thursday and I have like another partial root canal and something else done at the same time. It's like, what the? F Anyhow, but that's, you know, by the by. But what do you think, guys? Just a quickie. That was just a real quickie for you, just to show you. I have another moon dance coming and I think I might do it again with a moon dance. I think if I could do this colour, that would be amazing, but I don't know that I can. 
because like I say, I mean, but I will show you the process if you want to see. Like I say, I sewed up the pocket. The pockets were just too low. I'm like, how am I ever going to use those pockets? And then, yeah, I just cut a good couple of inches off the bottom. Maybe the next one I will, I don't know. I mean, this this is nice with these leggings. Even in the summer, you know, I could, these are just sports leggings at the moment. I don't have cotton ones. But I think I can just get a pair, a pair of bl plain black cotton leggings you know capri leggings and that for the summer I'm, I'm good because you know so that's it my guys that's my moon dance that's done oh this this tail at the back the one at the bottom i took that off as well i didn't i don't need to pull that one up so i just i just cut that across left that and then i left this one at the front Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you tell my payments again? Anyhow, I hope you liked my little thing. If you want me to do a tutorial on the moon dance or on another inflow, because I'm probably going to do another inflow, I can show you. But um, definitely, Eva Fox did a fabulous tutorial uh, on the Besties page that really helped me with the silks. One thing I would say is that the silks that did not work for me that i'm not having good luck with the kimonos okay i mean the long kimonos um so i don't i don't know about that but um yeah but in the meantime thanks for watching <laughs>